Hello and welcome to this course on Unix shell scripting. My name is Sijish and this video we will see some of the quantifiers in regular expression that we can use along with the set. So in previous videos we have discussed about those in detail like how this quantifier operator works in regular expression. So we will see that in a demo here. So uh, I have some one input file so I can just check input 3.txt so this is the input file which I am using for my demo so first we will check plus so plus is a quantifier which represents one or more occurrence of previous character uh, so for example here let me just take that s as for substitution which regular expression so for the set first argument is the string or regular expression that we need to search i am just using a x plus then b so this means so the plus is applicable to this character only not for a and also if you have uh, something which is grouped in, within the parenthesis then it will apply for that group also but here so this is applicable for this character alone we don't have a group specified here and a x plus b means it will match with a x b a x x b a x x x b like that so minimum one or more okay so and uh, i'm replacing that with uh, any 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 anything i can just use just uh, iphone iphone or something then ending my input file see here you can see a x b uh, but here you can see this is not replaced anything the reason is this plus we may need to escape because it will uh, just treat like a x plus b whenever a x plus b is there so that will treat but to get its special feature we just need to escape this plus so in that case you can see see this is same as ax plus b but if you write that as it is in the regular expression it will just think ax plus b as a string but to get this as a regular expression you need to escape this plus now you can see whenever ax plus b combination is available like uh, ax b then uh, this one and uh, this one and uh, this one also replaced with uh, this iphone iphone okay so here see only one thing you need to remember is this plus you need to escape uh, so uh, here you can see this is not replaced a b because so for a b we don't have one x or one or more x available so if you use a star then okay so star no need to escape so if you just use the star means it will replace a b also this is a b means this that is also replaced so star means one or or zero or more occurrence of previous character or previous group so here the previous group is a zero occurrence so that will match for a b also and uh, next we will see uh, this exact matching input 3.txt so i need uh, the exact 3 right so what i can do is here is set yes then the replacing string i mean the searching string a x then x should be exactly three times then b and uh, this one i need to replace with uh, whatever uh, plus or minus or whatever it may be so this is the replacing string i can just use any any string like uh, so i'm just uh, replacing it with uh, iphone iphone or whatever it may be then my input 3 dot txt so here you can see here also so what 
this means th this expression means whatever the character or group here like here in this case x only so a followed by 3x and then b actually it should match here but again this brace we need to escape so use the escape just before this braces then you can see here so that is exactly uh, three times that is replaced and uh, also we can just use uh, like uh, ax uh, like uh, 2 to 5 so that means so what whenever it's available minimum 2 or more until 5x that that will so here also i need to escape just add the escape character or backslash before this braces so here you can see but this is not replaced the reason is this is having more numbers so 2 or 5 2 to 5 or if i just use the 1 to 5 means so here also you can just see that is getting replaced so within the brace you can use the range that means with that to this one so let me add a few more contents to this input 3.txt then uh, x a b a b y then x a b a b a b a b y then x y then x a b b y right i just added few more contents i'll just show you how this group works x y b so what i will do set s then x then a b comma y this one i am replacing with the hyphen then my input file uh, the problem is default okay by default uh, this will behave like a parenthesis okay it will just check x followed by a parenthesis a b followed by so this also we need to escape so in that case sorry not uh, this one instead of uh, this one Okay, let me add uh, this one instead of x a b y. So what I'm doing here is just uh, see. So x followed by a b y. So what this is the group but if you don't use this parenthesis so this will not replace x a y x a b y because this has to be escaped okay now you can see if we escape a b so that is used but i just want to show you how a group work for the uh, this one and uh, if i just use the uh, plus symbol so normally plus also we need to escape so you can see all this occurrence so that means so this plus applies not to this character to this entire group entire group means a b so this means in between x and y one or more occurrence of a b so you can just use the star also for star i think uh, this escape is not needed so star means see this x y also will work and uh, here if i want to uh, just use some count so i can use that so exactly two times means see x a b a b y so if you just want to compare just take that input txt see a b a b y so this uh, two means 
this two is applicable to this group so if you are not using as a group that will applicable to the character similarly all the quantifier operator so we can apply to either character or the group which is available adjacent to that or before that uh, quantifier so i hope this is uh, clear to you and if you have any question so please use in the comment box to address that so i will try to answer your queries so also if you have not subscribed this channel so please do subscribe i will be adding lot more contents over time thank you for watching we'll see you in the next video bye